my name's Carol Ann, and this is my home in um, Woolloomooloo, and I've been here for 26 years. The night before COVID in 2020, we had 48 people out there. The next morning they came and offered them accommodation, and that night we went down to five. I'm Sue, I'm the postie. I've been the postie here for nine years. My name is Laura Entralla. Um, I'm from South Spain. I'm part of this community here in Wollumulu. I have a, I've been living for two years in a women's refuge in, in this area. During COVID, I mean, I was incredibly lucky to A, have a job and B, to be able to still go outside for my job every day. I know some of the rough sleepers some ladies, they couldn't have showers for weeks and they're struggling being a woman and, and don't have access to toilet or to places, showers or food, was hard. There was a real sense of gloom. It was hard for everyone, very hard, yeah. One thing about this community was it's made up of a very diverse group of different people from from uh, homeless to people living in social housing to people living in private housing who are quite well off. And the best thing about this place is that it's got a street that runs right down the middle of the suburb that's closed off. I was thinking of what would be some way of doing an event that would bring everybody together. And someone mentioned in the community, why don't we do a street parade? The beginning of the parade is a group called Woolloomooloo Connect or Woolo Connect, which is a group of local residents and some local services. So the art gallery, art space, Hope Street, Baptist Care, Weave Youth, the Vinnie's OLC Connect, the Botanic Gardens, Mission Australia and the King's Cross Police have been part of it, plus lots of community members who meet regularly to talk about what happens in the community and what they can contribute to making it a better community. The spirit and the motivation to make this happen has come from that group, Wollo Connect. When uh, the Woolloomooloo Parade was talked about first, it was done through community consultation and the community was talked about what themes they'd like to talk about within the festival. We've been doing all the workshops they were very inclusive and I think that was very nice because we worked through something up come together. So working a small group uh, workshops was nice for the ladies to feel secure, I guess, and safe. been doing workshops with the school for the last month. We go in for a whole day once a week and build the props and, and build the story. So they've written the story of the nest. And they always get me to talk to the kids about homelessness and how easy it is to end up on the street. And I don't think that people realise that. You know, get behind in your rent, next minute you know the the, the locks go on, the boarding goes up, and you're out. And um, it doesn't take long to happen, and particularly with men. It's lovely to think that part of our work on Aboriginal land down there relates to our Indigenous history and acknowledges that um, the Indigenous owners of that land through story. Hello, I'm Trisha Cooney. I'm from a group called Circus Solaris. We do a lot of uh, walk around entertainment at uh, events and community development projects. We developed a story that the birds of Woolloomooloo got together wanting to help their community. For this parade, we've painted the front of the puppet, designed by Auntie Vicky Doyle, who works at the Plunkett Street School. So she designed this large circles 
talk about the community and gathering places. So it could be the OLC, it could be the school or Hope Street. These smaller spaces could be houses along the street. The theme of the parade is the nest, which is a really beautiful metaphor for the Woolloomooloo community. Not only the way it's actually geographically situated, sort of with the, um, the hills around Woolloomooloo, um, but it's a really beautiful community where people come together. It's a really nurturing and supportive community, exactly like a nest. They wanted to use the theme of nests and eggs and birds, that this is our little nest and from this we can build our homes and from this we can fly. So the kids down at Plunkett Street School are loving that idea too because they're working with birds, with that lovely imagery of birds. Over the last month and a half, we've been doing workshops all together to build the bird and to create the mobile garden floats, to create the op shop float. So they've, they've built all the different parts of the parade. And the parade will end with a beautiful performance all based around birds and based around the nest and based around a beautiful dancer coming out of the nest and leading us all in a lovely bird-like dance. Shot glass, ten pin, bowl me over. Sometime in May, happy days. 